All right, guys, welcome back to Techno Blub. My name is Eben Wilkins. And I'm Richard John. All right, and if you notice, we're in a kind of a new setup once again. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Change is good. Change is good. Change is always good, man. <laughs> All right, so we have some big things to talk about today. Uh, we're going to be talking about the newly announced, announced devices, the Surface Go and the Galaxy Tab S4. Right. So, Maurice, what's your first impression on the Surface Go? Uh, Surface Go. It is the first Surface device that has tempted my pocket. Really, it is, and based on the reviews, it's clearly Microsoft hits a home run with this. Um, when we look back at, at, at Microsoft history and trying to get into that sweet price point between $400 to $700, they tried with the regular Surface, but the apps were the problem. So you could only run a specific set of apps. But with this version of the Surface, you have the full version of, of Windows, if you update from the S model, the X version, and you have the same sweet premium build that is now associated with Microsoft products, which, which of course, the Microsoft brand was always associated with all of these crappy Windows products. Mm -hmm. But now they have taken control of the hardware and they have been pumping out some sweet, sweet devices. Yeah. And at this price point, I could see students loving it. I could see people who just want a quick laptop to grab and go, grabbing it, and it's a, it's a good product. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, it's, it's, it's an excellent um, entry edition. I don't know. Is it a tablet or a laptop? It, 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 it is. It's a, a hybrid. It's a hybrid. Yeah, Let's right, call it yeah. a hybrid. It's a hybrid, yeah. That's our new term for these kind of devices, right, hybrid. Right. Um, it's, really, it's really excellent. Uh, but bear in mind, it's not as powerful as a Surface right, Pro. Right. So you, you, got, you got to take that into consideration when getting one of these Surface Go. It's for basic and... Basic uh, entertainment consumption, play right. light games, watch videos, YouTube, um, a little productivity here and there, nothing too extravagant, no... No, uh, no games, no expect to be running <laughs> No triple A games. games. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you're going to struggle with Fortnite if you right. play Fortnite as well. Right. So you got to take it easy. You got to lower your expectation for the Surface Go, but the build quality is excellent. Excellent. All right, and I would definitely consider getting one myself. Yeah. So if you are a student and you're looking for just the document processing, people right now, people's requirements on these devices are lower because much of our work is done on the internet. Right. We consume a lot of content, so content consumers can really pick up this device and use it. So if you're not Netflix, you're watching Netflix, you're watching online TV shows, you're doing document processing, you don't really need... Uh, I, I7 process and all of those things. So this is a perfect device for you to grab on the go mm -hmm. and your light to work. I, I would recommend it. I recommend it. Definitely. And the starting price is $399. That's for the lowest right. base model. But the sweet model is probably yes. $551. Yeah, right. which, can't, which has the 8 gigs. Right, the 8 gigs. Uh, and the fast SSD. The fast SSD. Because yeah. the base model has a slower hard drive and less RAM. So yeah. that is like or we're just doing it for doing a sake, for four, mm -hmm. just to hit that $400 price point. Mm -hmm. But I would not advise you to get that $400 one. So the step up is the better, yeah. the better buy. Mm -hmm. All right, so that is a yes to the so Surface Go. Go. Uh -huh. Of course, everything is always foreshadowing what Apple is about to do. <laughs> we're not going to talk about Apple today because September is coming, so we're going to talk about Apple when September rolls in. But um, we... All of these tablets are coming out in this time period because we know that something is coming. Apple is cooking up something. So the next hybrid. candidate, next hybrid. hybrid, hybrid, is who? The Galaxy Tab S4. Four. Right. All right. The fourth edition to the Galaxy High Premium Tablet. Right. Oh man, what to say about this? Uh, let me let me jump in here. So one of the problems with Android and when it comes to the tablets, now. Google's strategy with Android has always been more of a, a virus-looking thing. So they flood the market with cheap devices, 
they are very not particular with the quality of applications that go in their store. It's just basically, let's see how fast we could spread this virus as quick as possible. We worry about repercussions after. And one of the repercussions of that attitude has been that the tablet apps have not been of the same quality as at the iPad devices. So Apple focusing on quality has have, has now a treasure trove of more of uh, tablet applications that are perfectly suited for the tablet. And that, that is why Android tablets have not really caught on because the, the devices are there, but the quality of applications and is not there. So in comes Samsung trying to bridge the gap by in, with having DeX. So you have the desktop looking UI and you try to use windowed versions of the apps so that people could feel like it's a desktop environment for productivity. What do you think about that, that, that concept? Um, I think if you're going to go that concept, it might as well get a Windows. <laughs> of course. Or, of or, course, if it is going to send it to the Windows. Or, or a Mac, your, your <laughs> choice. <laughs> but yeah, um, Android on in an, an Android tablet trying to replace your laptop. It makes no sense to me. To me, it makes no sense. Okay. Um, you're going to have an Android. Well, Samsung is trying to make the transition mm. as smooth as possible by introducing the DeX program, which turns the Android interface into somewhat of a Windows-looking like interface. Right. Right. Um, in that interface, you're going to need a keyboard. Preferably, you're going to need a mouse. Right. Now, with all of that addition, like I said, might as well just get a laptop or one of the Windows hybrid. Uh, it, it <laughs> <laughs> or get an iPad. Just not, even, not even an iPad. Get, get, get um, what is this? Mac? A get Mac. a Mac. Get a Mac. Not even an iPad. Mac price point kind of high. Yeah, man. But the, the Galaxy Tab, um, it's a very premium laptop, Android laptops, one of the most premium Tablet. ones. Oh, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> It's a very premium tablet, right. It's, right? And it's one of the most expensive Android tablets you can find. Um, the price point is around 700 US thereabout. And it feels good, it looks good. It's what you expect from a premium Samsung Galaxy brand. Right. But like what we, Maurice and I said, the experience, the Android experience right. in desktop mode is not it's not the best. It's not the best. It's, it's not the best at all. Best. And I, I fault Google for trying to cut shortcuts. Mm -hmm. If they had done the hard route and be hard and fast like Apple was, Apple was quite particular with what kind of application they allowed in the App Store. And I have had first hand experience with that. Even my app, I have a Hymnal app, and I tried to put it on the App Store, and they turned it away because they have, and their thing was, Apps like that exist already on the store, so you are not adding value. So I wasted time when I developed my application. The app store did not have these apps on it, like good quality apps. And I rested on my laurels and I did not submit it. And then when I went to submit it now, Apple told me away. Because Apple is focusing on not quantity, but quality. And it pays dividends in the long run when you do that, have that focus. So now we are seeing that same strategy coming back to bite Android because you have you don't have quality a tablet application. So when people buy these 700 and something dollar tablets, they need to have poor quality applications or else it makes no sense to have this kind of investment. So that is where the, for me, that is where the, the tab, the, 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 the Galaxy tab falls short. The applications, the hardware is great, the keyboard is great, everything else looks like perfect. You, everybody knows Samsung made the best screens, they make all of the, a lot of components, but that one critical ingredient is missing, and I fault Google for that. <laughs> he said it all. <laughs> I've got nothing else to uh, say, man. Get a Windows. Yeah. So at, at a seven hundred price tag, just get a Windows, man. Okay. Just get a Windows. So until September, and I feel 
there's an air blowing in the atmosphere that I feel like if September is going to be a crowning moment for these tablet devices. And so we will see what Apple will what bring to the table. And um, for now, I would say, get a selfie. So I agree with you, Ben, my, my, my Windows loving friend, and get a Surface Go. I will actually get one myself. Oh, that's how good the Surface Go is. It's actually that sweet. Yeah. All right, so. This has been another episode of Techno Blurb. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for sticking around and listening to us. And give us your comments. What are you thinking about the Galaxy Tab S4 and the Surface Go? Which one you plan to get? Are you going to wait on the new iterations of the iPads? <laughs> Let us know in the comments. All right, guys. All right, so thanks for tuning in. And see you next week. We have to be more consistent, so we're going to be here next week again with another episode for you. All right? Thank you.